Hey there guys, this is Primus Reviews here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video for you guys today as I do want to make this my top most wanted studio series figures that we still haven't gotten to this day. Now we did have uh, you know, a lot of studio series figures that we do have that are really really cool and, and that we finally got iterations of. But for this video I do want this video to be the, the most wanted still to this day studio series figures that we still haven't gotten. Now, there's been a lot of good iterations of Studio Series going out of the park, and then there's been some bad iterations of Studio Series letting us down, which, you know, it happens, the good and the bad, nothing is ever going to be perfect. But I think for this video, again, I do want to make it clear that these are not confirmed, okay? I, this, this is just my most wanted Studio Series figures that we still haven't gotten to this day. And note that these are not in any particular order. I'm just going to name off a few because if not, then we're going to be here for a whole hour. But uh, this is going to be my top most wanted Studio Series figures that we haven't got. Coming in at number one here, we do have the Transformers Age of Extinction slash The Last Night Optimus Prime design. Now, as you do know that we have gotten uh, uh, the iterations of Optimus Prime from the first, second, and third film of Studio Series, but I feel like it's time for them to make an Age of Extinction slash The Last Night version of Optimus Prime. As you do know, from the third to the fourth film, he does have a new design, and they did make a a figure out of The Last Night um, Optimus Prime that I think is still the best version of The Last Night uh, Voyager class that we have ever gotten, but I feel like it's time for them to retool it and make it better so that way it could be more screen accurate, as I do feel like that even though we haven't gotten this figure, I feel like that's uh, on a lot of people's minds on who they want and we still haven't gotten. A lot of people don't like that design, but I do feel like they want to complete their set of, a of Age of Extinction characters and I feel like that Optimus Prime would be a great Studio Series figure if they do him right. All they have to do is just tweak the backpack and make sure it doesn't look uh, uh, car part heavy like how like how the figure was when they released the last night version but other than that i feel like that that figure can be a great figure if done right coming in at number two here we do have all the age of extinction dinobots it still blows my mind to this day that studio series age of extinction grimlock was the number seven figure to come out and we're already past a hundred and we still haven't gotten any any age of extinction dinobots now i don't know what the problem is i don't know why they're taking forever but literally they could have done this a long time ago now i get it the design may be hard to make and they have to make them a leader class and all that good stuff but honestly i think we've been waiting for a very long time four years i think four years is long enough for us to be waiting for at least another companion to the studio series age of extinction grimlock maybe a scorn maybe a slug maybe a strafe i mean come on like I said, it still blows my mind that we still haven't gotten another Dinobot from the Studio Series Age of Extinction line. Like, like, it, what? Now, I know they're pushing G1, the Dinobots, as well, but I mean, over time, they could have at least done one leader class of the Age of Extinction Dinobots. I mean, we only got one out, out of the four. I mean, come on. But yeah, I don't know when that is going to be, but I do feel like that they should have released already a new Age of Extinction Dinobot in Studio Series, a leader class. Please, I'm begging. Coming in here at number 3, we do have the Transformers Age of Extinction Bumblebee, but in the 1967 Chevrolet Camaro SS version. Um, yeah, uh, this figure is honestly one of my most wanted figures ever. Now, when they did release a, you know, deluxe version of him back when Age of Extinction did drop, the robot mode did not look great. Honestly, people did not like the robot mode. People think it looked hideous, and I do agree. But his alternate uh, form looked really, really cool, and pe th that's why people were getting that figure, because of that Camaro. Now, if Studio Series were to find a way to make that exact same Camaro, but just make the robot mode a little better, I do feel like that's, that this figure can be a top 10 hit. Now, there is the Transformers Age of Extinction Bumblebee Camaro as well, the 2013 version. And yes, as much as I would like a figure of that version, I do feel like I do want the 1967 Camaro version a lot more. Because I do feel like that that one, even though it did have a little bit of screen time, I do feel like that that mode honestly looked really, really sick. 
And honestly, 3-0, if you want to make one, please, I wouldn't mind at all, please. Coming in at number 4 here, we do have the Transformers The Last Knight Megatron. Now, if Studio Series were to make this figure, I do feel like it would be a top hit right away if done correctly as well. As you do know, we still have the Voyager Class version of the 2017 Premiere Edition Megatron, and that figure, people were praising it. Even people were saying that it is better than the Leader Class, and as I do agree that it was way better than the Leader Class, I do feel, feel like that figure still holds its own to this day as looking really, really cool. But if Studio Series were to make a figure, like that but 10 times better like it, it it would shock and blow my mind a lot of people wouldn't agree with me on this but i do feel like that the last night megatron's design looks really really sick and really really cool and menacing and honestly maybe the best design for megatron now i do know the first one is iconic and stuff and the second one looks really really menacing but i do feel like this one just looks sick he, he looks like a beast just make sure he has the waist swivel make sure he has all the modern stuff uh, like all the figures have, because you know a lot of deluxes have a lot of waist swivels now and Voyager classes have a lot of more movement. So if they were able to make them that poseable as well, I do feel like that, that, that this figure can be a top 10 hit. Also the paint apps have to be on point. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to be good enough to where people will buy this figure and it doesn't look bad. Coming in here at our last, well my last most uh, wanted figure, and this one might be controversial. But I do feel like we need a new lockdown. Now, I know we have already gotten a Studio Series lockdown and and other stuff, but I do feel like it's time for Lockdown to get the justice he deserves. I do feel like that he needs a new figure. That figure, when he came out, he was a deluxe version, and even though he looked really, really cool, th there was a lot of problems with that figure that that I kept seeing. And honestly, one of the reasons why I didn't pick him up was because of those reasons. And it, 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 it was a disappointment to me, you know, I, uh, people still like that figure and I don't blame you, but I do feel like that Lockdown should not be a deluxe version at all if, if all we're getting are Optimus Primes that, uh, that are at least Voyager. And if, and if you compare, you know, that Lockdown to any other Optimus Prime, you know, Optimus Prime is a lot bigger and I'm pretty sure that, that they were the same height. If not, maybe Lockdown was a little bit taller. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but just rewatching the movie, um... Lockdown was a menacing, you, you, you know, transformer, you know, he he was a bounty hunter and I do feel like he deserves more of an upgrade and more of a retool and more of, of, of a justice that he deserves. Just make him more poseable, make him, make him look more screen actor, make him look more menacing and, and just make him bigger. I mean, if he was bigger, okay, I, I completely understand, but make him a Voyager class. I feel like he should have not been a deluxe class at all. But yeah guys, as you know, Rise of the Beast is coming out very, very soon and we are getting so close to the release date and I am so, so excited. And as you do know, all the figures are starting to be released and shown to us and man, do they look great. And I really hope that that this movie is done right and if done right, I do feel like that this movie will be a huge success and a step into, into the right direction of where Paramount wants to go. But alrighty guys, that's going to do it here for me. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications so that we get to miss a single upload. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. And tell me what is your most wanted Studio Series figure or any figure that you still want to this day. This has been Primus Reviews. And that has been my most wanted Studio Series figures. Remember to stay calm and keep moving on. So I'll make sure to see you guys on the next one.